Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpheus being blissfully incapable of controlling his computer long enough to record dead cells for like half an hour. Is that too much to ask? What are we doing? Let's play. Uh, Jen's in the room. Hi. Hi. Uh, what do I want here? Sure, let's play with that. She's just tidying or rearranging or doing what Jen's do in offices. Help. She's probably going to say things to me and what with me having these headphones on and everything. We're going to hear it. <laughs> so, we'll you've just... stolen my amazing headphones. Because my amazing headphones broke it. Okay. Quite like the weapons we've got. So let's go full brutality. Why the heck not? Let's see how far we can get. Uh, yeah, that's brutality. Nice. Everyone die. I'm just going to power through these levels for today. Feeling a little bit like I need to just own stuff. Not in the, you know, not in the... Not in the Metallica sense of own all the gold Humvees and stuff, but in the sort of Unreal Tournament sense of beat the crap out of all the enemies in the level really fast. Oh, money, money, money. Paid for everything already. Obviously, I'm going to forget that I have skills to use. Uh, not again in the IRL sense, but in the Dead Cell sense of I can press the buttons if I want to and improve my lot ever so slightly. This computer is slightly in the wrong place and I'm bashing my knees on it. There we go. I have found my headphone extension cable because Jen's amazing, cool, and hugely expensive headphones couldn't afford to supply us with more than maybe a foot and a half of cable, which is about the distance between me and my knee. That's because they're not designed to use a computer. A laptop or iPod or phone, that's what they're for. They're for mobile use, not for... They're for mobile use, not for any other use. So how dare you want to use your headphones for things that they wasn't designed for. It's headphones. And it's, it's, Most people have easy access headphones for. Yeah. It doesn't mean you can't spend an extra few bob. I'm not really using this whip. Or this, actually. Let's learn a new thing. I don't want those. You know, it's like... My other headphones had really long cables. Good stuff. It's like... Also, they're kind of not. These are really good headphones. These are the sort of things you'd use for, like... On the go, well, not on the go, but like IRL, sitting down and making really cool ass music and stuff on you. Yeah, on a laptop, on your lap where you don't need loads. Or on a, like a computer. The point, but why would you lock people, people out of using your headphones for the sake of another three inches, or six inches of people cable? Plug it in right here. Most people, that's too long. Furthermore, it literally comes with a thing no, to wrap the cable around. No, it, it doesn't come with it. No, I bought that. So they, not only could they not afford you an extra six inches of cable, but they couldn't afford to give you a thing to wrap the cable around. Even though I still have the one for my broken Sennheiser headphones, which would perfectly do the job. In fact, I could splice the cable from my Sennheiser headphones onto a jack, plug it into here. That's a good idea. And we just have an extra spare cable. What am I going to do with the sen that cable otherwise? It's just an audio cable. Uh, let's go with uh, not talking to Jen the entire episode. And do I need that? I don't need that. I didn't get hit because I ran really fast. Which is the rinse wind way of playing Dead Cells. Yeah. You wake up screaming and just run. Let's see what's in the time door. I mean, uh, understand it's not necessarily that worth it. But uh, here we are. So let's go. 52 seconds. I should get way more than I normally get. The cells are actually good. But that was kind of disappointing. I don't understand why it's not worth passing up the... Oh, pardon me. And the treasure on the previous floor just to get that. No, I'm not playing your silly games. You know, this is... This is Dead Cells 2.0 where I just... Well, we've had... Wait, you've seen this. Have we not? I thought we already unlocked this. I'm so confused. I know we unlocked the one where it hurts them up against the wall. Does it just look the same in the... Uh... I rolled through that, I will have you know. Also, what was that big flash? Yeah, this is the up against the wall one. What? I was certain then, 100% sure. I'm absolutely convinced that we'd already unlocked this. So, what? Go on in. Well, go on in, my dudes. Someone tell me. Did... Please, die. There we go. Someone tell me if I am just going slightly mad. Or some weird stuff's happened because it's not like I did it on a different computer. In fact, surely this was the previous episode. Sorry, you are mad. Hello? You are mad. Mad? Please stop walking in poison. It's bad for you. There's an elite here. I don't want to fight the elite. Run. Can I not fight the elite? 
No. Elite Disgusting Worm. It's just it's called Disgusting Worm. That's a bit rude. You go away. Not helpful. And of course you teleport, so I'm going to die. I'm not getting any crits out of this. Oh, I didn't die. Well done, me. Run away. Uh, I guess we heal again. <laughs> Poisons enemies that wound you. That would have been useful when I was being wounded by enemies that were not getting poisoned. Just ignore everything. Uh, I wonder what counts as up against the wall. That didn't. Also, I can still backstab stuff. Again, the backstabby weapon still seems the best to me because that's all I ever managed to... I'm always in that position. Most enemies attack from in front. Apart from the uh, weird Sonic the Hedgehog. What's my name? But like, who cares about that? There's like one em enemy in the entire game. It's not what you want to build your run around. Uh, which, if you want it to be a long distance run around, of course you just need uh, a, a new Yes album. Which is not remotely new, it's probably from like 1976, but uh, not nitpick, you know, but just talking to get through the game. I am aware that I measured this headphone cable in feet, not <laughs> not centimetres. I'm sorry, Europeans, for everything, but honestly, Imperial units do have a place. It's just not anywhere involving measuring things. Anything that is more approximate than a centimetre, it's fine to use feet. But it's not like I measured it. It's about a foot and a half long, which is about that long holds up hands. You know, it's, no one's, oh, no one's like getting out their ruler and making sure it's actually that long. But if I said, oh, this uh, this thing is exactly sixty three millimeters, six hundred and thirty, yeah, sixty three. I don't know a number. Pick a number. Centimeters are too accurate to be wrong about them. When you say like it's about that long right but feet are perfect for it that's what i like about imperial unit now, if you've got a pound of you know prevention no wait cure which one's in the ounce an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure so if you've got a pound of cure it doesn't matter if i've actually got a pound of it it's just you know about holds up fist that much right leave me alone good mind you there is one... Okay. <laughs> I understand. You don't have to lecture me on the nonsensicalness of uh, Imperial units because we changed, okay? We don't need them anymore. The only thing that's good about Imperial units is a pint because you try giving me a litre of beer, I'm not drinking it. Ooh. You know what I was saying about backstabbing? That was the backstabby one, right? I just sold the other one. Yeah, okay. Ramparts. No. No, George. Look, we're on a roll. We're going to do the hard way my way or the hard way and a shop will give us no value good day um excuse me what was i saying pints i mean maybe i'm stealing a little bit from 1984 the book i was gonna say film is there a film i thought it was a film it's probably got martin freeman in it but the imperial units are really good for just life Whereas, because they're units born of people trying to do stuff for hundreds of years, you know, like, I think, isn't it a hectare where the actual original definition of a hectare was based on the amount of land that a man can plow on his own on a Sunday or something like that? Like one man, one ox can plow this much in one day and that's a hectare, which is really useful if you're going to plow a field in a day with an ox, but I'm not, right? In this day and age, we're going to land a, a, you know, a robot on a red planet that oh, go away with the bullets treasure you know and we need to be accurate about that because you know do you want to dump this mars rover and this hectare of land on mars uh no can we just like aim or guess i mean the imperial unit of mars is one mars because if we land it anywhere on mars we're kind of winning right i'm not using this whip at all i really need like a a bow to be honest let's sell this it's money um, but people, I have this in, I've been thinking about this, okay, this is on my mind. People have a problem with Fahrenheit. I have a problem with Fahrenheit because I don't use it, so I don't understand it. But that is not a problem. That's like saying I have a problem with French because I don't speak it. You know, it's like, 
I mean, I do, but that's not, you know, I don't That doesn't stand up in court. Fahrenheit is just a function of Celsius. There's no point. How the... I missed a thing. Can I just draw attention to the game that we're playing? And note that I managed to discover the chest room whilst being on the other side of the wall from the chest room. And it made a noise and I just ignored it. Because I thought I was being rewarded for finding that thing that I didn't sell, which was sold. Um, ice grenade. I mean, 5.8 cooldown. I'm going to take this and sell this. 5.8 seconds cooldown on the infantry grenade makes me want to use it a lot. So I'm into that. Um, but... There's another fire grenade over there, but who flipping cares? Um, I'm guessing the other exit is up there then. A little bit lost. Unless it's on the other side of this room that I uh, poo pooed <laughs> um, and didn't just go through and see what's on the other side. Fahrenheit is like F of Celsius, right? It's a function of Celsius, which means it and Celsius are both arbitrary. You could easily say um, the argument against most imperial units is that simply there's a different unit for more of the same thing. So you have like feet and inches when it could just be centimeters and more centimeters, which or meters and smaller meters, which is what we have in, in metric, right? You look confused. Oh, um, so what's this question? Huh? Which one, Jack? Oh, Luke. Hi, Reese. Um, <laughs> what do we want to do here? Let's just put some shitload of cells and something useful. The, the metric system has one unit for one thing. I think, by and large, unless we accidentally call things that are the same different things by it, because we didn't realize that they were the same at the time, but we, we tend to settle, you know? Uh, since I have a grenade that will cause things to bleed, I'm going to buy that. Um, whereas Imperial units, they like to just add a new unit and call it... Uh, it's not a unit, you know, you have to have a single unit for a single type of thing. So the inch is a perfectly good measurement. It's, it's a length, it, it doesn't change, it's that much. But as soon as you have 12 of them, you've got another name for the thing instead of just a, a 12 inch, right? Well, I guess that's a sub... But the... No, it's a record. The sub's called a footlong, which is like kind of playing. It's another key to my bow. Wait, it's another lock to my door to my. Oh, I have a whip, etc. Um, leave me alone. Help! You have no back. Be gone. I can't roll away from this thing because both directions of rolling is a scary puddle of mud. Uh, so we should go bowling for soup. Someone talked to me about this name, Bowling for Soup. I am 100% not behind this name. Is it, is it a, a dig against homeless people? Is it like whistling for your dinner? Is this an American idiom? We've been through idioms, and I'm not going back over that nonsense again, except I will if you want me to, but I'm not ready to. Um, like, I'm not into your nonsense with bowling for soup and whistling for your dinner and, you know, monkey in your bananas and what have you. All right, aping. Fahrenheit is a single unit. It's a basically an inch. You know, you have 10 Fahrenheit, you have 100 Fahrenheit. You don't have more. It's not an imperial unit. That's my point. It's just a different unit. An imperial unit is one that necessarily just, when you get too many of them, people get bored of saying that many and start saying something else. And uh, it's, ooh, firebrand. I mean, torch. Is torch better than firebrand? No. Here's the bow I asked for, though. I'm into that. I've used the whip once, so be gone. I can't sell it because I've had it since the start of the game, which just goes to show. Um, because Celsius is wrong, too. There's no reason a single degree of Celsius should be a single degree of Celsius. I mean, it's maybe that was terrible, by the way. Don't do what I did there. Look before you leap, and especially look before that leap is a, uh, a, a ground pound stomp, because, you know... I do believe that the people who coined the idiom look before you leap, which is not really an idiom, it's more of a... What would you call it? You know, when you've got, like, it's more of a mantra. Not a mantra, that's more like a, a chant that you repeat to yourself to make yourself feel better, but, like, 
It's a, it's a, what's a parable but in English, but like real life? That sort of thing, you get the idea. Um, it means what it says, basically. It's not an idiom, because it doesn't, it's not nonsense that means something. Which is very similar to Imperial Units, actually. Ah, uh, let me out! What happened? This game just holds you in a stun lock and then beats the crap out of you, and you're trying to run away, and it's like, nope. You have put yourself in this situation, and there is no way out. So, in your face, noob. There's, you can divide the, the, quote, boiling point of water and the, quote, boiling point of... Uh, uh, freezing point of water by 100, if you so choose, and call it a unit, but it doesn't make you right. You know, I, I can't tell you what um, Fahrenheit is based on, but I'm sure it's based on something. It's not like someone went, right... This is hotter than this, so let's make it a bigger number. Maybe they did. Okay, let's let's give them the benefit or the what's the opposite of the benefit of the doubt? Let's, for argument's sake, say that they literally went. This is hot and this is not hot, so this is going to be zero because it's kind of cold. This is going to be a hundred because it's kind of hot, and then in between, you know, it, it just makes itself because you've got zero to a hundred, and the increments are just one hundredth of that gap. Maybe someone went like that. They are perfectly entitled to do that. Don't you dare persecute them for it. It's fine because, you know, 12 Fahrenheit isn't a floofal snog or something. You know, it's not, it's not imperial. It's just another number. It's another division of another thing, which is just as much, you know, merit as Celsius. And of course, the reason I don't like Celsius is that the one quote-unquote temperature scale that actually is based in something um, is the Kelvin, which isn't even a degree, it's just a unit. You don't even have to look in your um, Unicode character map to try and find the degree symbol to type it in your computer. You just... Oh, there was a... I saw the oil blade and now I'm thinking, who cares? It's just a K, a capital K, which is why we like metric. But at the same time, Fahrenheit is just a capital F with a weird degree symbol, and Celsius is a capital C with a weird degree symbol. You can't complain about Fahrenheit. So stop it. I'm not listening. Meanwhile, we have uh, an ounce of prevention on this run, hopefully, rather than the aforementioned pound of cure. I don't know whether I want to go with these... Um, I don't. I think the support weapon is not really worth too much because I, I, I am pulling that out of my ass just to say something but mostly I don't want to use purple if I can use red because it hits harder if you use red. Uh, I'm on time door time as well which is nice which I'm hoping is this way. Hello let me in. Who builds these dungeons with time doors in them? Why? Just time the first door to be like five seconds and then lock the the prisoner in. There's, there's many things that you could have done in this prison had you been the architect of it, which clearly there wasn't because anybody who architects a building uh, reconfigures itself every time the occupant dies. In fact, this is one of those games where you're sort of more important than the rest of the world because when you quote unquote die, I keep quote unquote today, so I guess I'm just non committal about the words I'm saying right now, but the whole point I'm trying to make is that when this particular incarnation of us dies. It does say you died, so it's not like, leave me alone. Um, it's not like I can't use that word. It just seems wrong, because isn't this dude already dead or something? Like, what is the law about this sparkly face thing? Um, point is, the whole world reconfigures itself around this Joker, who, by the way, is the only person that the uh, collector has ever approached. Because if the collector is trying to collect stuff that I pick up, and therefore I can use those things later, then am I the only person who has ever been in this weird and untenable situation? This irrepeatable paradigm. No. Paradox. <laughs> no. It's just a conundrum, okay? Why am I here? Why has nobody else been here? Why is this collector suddenly interested in the things I've got, but nobody else has ever managed to bring him anything for me to later collect? And uh, that was just me being impatient. Uh, why? Because, I mean, if <sighs> there's only one of me in the whole loric universe of this place. Uh, yes, because it's red. 
Even though I wanted a grenade, I'm going yes because it's red. No! That was good timing of you popping up there. Ho ho ho, popping up. But don't lock it up, Mr. Mannering. I'm recording right here, okay. <laughs> Maybe just check before you start recording that things are working. It says desktop audio, so I'm hoping you can hear it. I'm recently watching Northern Lion play without sound. Only two episodes, he says, but, you know. And then two more, when, Northern Lion, when. What was I saying? I was just musing, or bemusing, on the idea that no other denizen of this world has ever had this problem. Which I'm going to consider a problem, because why, why am I being brought back to fight just ever-increasing hordes of nonsense? Just enemies that constantly show themselves up and just be. Stop existing. And you're all the same. Have some decorum. Why are you teleporting me like this? This is not allowable. Did you see that? I know you saw that. That's why you're here. My whole... Uh, this is one of those idioms. I know that you saw it. It was more of an expression of surprise than a request for confirmation of your actual visual acumen to have received the data being input to your eyeballs and correctly parse it and comprehend it. It's the comprehension part that I am most aggrieved by. When did I put points in survival? I don't remember doing that. I'm going to the ramparts because it's here. Ramparts? Ram tops. Ram parts. It's only part of the ram, not the top of it. Which is, I guess, is part of it. That's okay. Once again, I've got to the point where I'm happy with my weapons, except for the one that I can't change. So I will put some things in here. The stun grenade might be good one day, but... I also I have to say, I do feel like they've almost reversed the, the unlocks. The things you start with are actually pretty good. <laughs> I don't care about any of the weapons that are coming later, because all the coming earlier weapons are good. Let's see what the ramparts have to offer. Is it ramparts or ramparts? Probably no. the former. Probably the latter. Well, I don't know. No one knows how to say this word. And yet it's been part of our language since... I guess they were invented. Although... Do you say ramparts? I feel like there must be an in-between thing that people say, but I can't. Ramparts. Ramparts. You're saying ramparts. No, I'm saying ramparts. You say rampant, not Because <laughs> it ends in parts. You know what English is like. It's like, hey, this word, which is spelled similar to this word, word is like pronounced the opposite. And like, I'm surprised parts even is associated here. Like, leave me alone. Get out of it. Google will know, but I'm not in the mood to find out from that, you know, unsightable source. I don't want to learn things from something I can't put in the bibliography of my thesis. Wikipedia. Google. Google dictionary results with Merriam-Webster. Yeah, sure, tell me how the Americans say it. That's what I asked. Two minutes to this time door. Because I just got bored and left. Left the sewers. Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Spend the night together. Together in my room. Oh, it's probably because I had a shitload of HP to gain from doing that, so I did. Let's do this. Perps and reds. Let's be a uh, split brain personality. Who doesn't like just being non committal and hedging one's bets? This is not a hedge for bets, so have some composure. Ah, this weapon is terrible. There aren't enough walls to make this weapon worthwhile. Also, I thought I was at least a little bit invincible whilst doing a Smash. You know what? I want to play Smash Bros. I don't even have a, a, a Switch to play it on. But I was, I was going to say I was really good at Smash Bros at school. It would not be true. I was really good at Smash Bros at university. At school, I could not get the hang of it to save my life, which was luckily 
not actually the case because, you know, you know, gun to your head, play Smash Bros. Gun's going off, mate. Haha, -ha, you're up against the wall. More fool you. Let's kill everything. Who cares? There was nothing there and I could have teleported back. Fine. Fine is about the ramp tarts. The ramp tarts. But I always end up going around them way more often. Like, keep assuming that the uh, place I'm in has something to offer. And then just walking back to the way I got down there in the first place instead of just leaving. You have to learn. Bro, why don't you learn, bro? I mean, yeah, bro. Learn, bro. Why don't you learn, bro? Oh, I don't know how, bro. Oh, have you tried learning how, bro? Yeah. What are you fucking talking about? I want to watch Flight of the Concords, but I've only got it on DVD and it's got to the point where anything in standard definition just hurts my brain. I managed to get over it for Red Dwarf, but only just. Again, with where's my invincible frames? Where's my iframes, bro? And I'm not talking HTML, you nerds. Why are you allowed to do this? This is against the Geneva Convention. Written there, you should read it. So against the Magnum Carton. I should probably use this, huh? Um, is this the same? Kind of. Oh, this one's better. Let's get rid of the crap. I don't have anything flamey. Also, don't forget that you could just throw this grenade. It doesn't seem that useful to me right now because it's like all the enemies are always too far away. <laughs> so who cares? Press them up. You are uh, pronouncing those question marks, or I read once that um, people who use the rising inflection are just supremely. What's the opposite? I'm gonna say unconfident. Is that right? I get a little bit of a, a brain fart here. It's like, what is the word in the English language that means not confident? But it's a it's a show of a... why did you make me unlock that door if there is nothing on the other side? It's... Fine. What a waste of everybody's time. Game, you've got a lot to answer for right now. Do you think doors count as walls in terms of stabbing things up against it? I'm actually finding it better to do most of the damage with the bow and then finish it off with the stab so I don't waste an ammo. Also, let's get some of this going. Also, also, we only get one vampirism per, per floor, I think. For biome, whatever you want to call it. You kind of want to use it when there's um. Where did Jen say? She died. You forgot your chargerator. We're up here because we walked away from the dog because she wants to stop barking. So we're <laughs> teaching her that barking means we leave. Uh, and I don't know if it's worked. I used the wrong thing. Okay, you go down and I will continue recording. 28 minutes already, you better hope you die soon or you're going to have to watch a longer episode. Oh no. More entertainment for the same value. People will complain. Well, I wasted my um, HP getting back skill. Pressing the wrong button. I mean, it's not like that's just like the end of the world or anything, though. No. I've got work to do. I don't want to do it. So I'm not going to. Oh, that's an option? Sold. How do I do it? Guess I just start crying about every little tiny thing. Eh. What sort of in It could be an adolescent. That was probably the okay time. Just before. Well. I was a bit of a shit person <laughs> for a large part of my life. Certainly during my adolescence, although. It's hard to sort of be mad at yourself for doing something a long time ago. It's not you can't go back and fix it, you can only go forwards and fix it. I mean that's pretty much common wisdom. You can't turn the clock back. And even if you did, you just like rewind the timeline, right? You'd have to have some sort of time travel unit oh, I open I tried to roll in the other direction there. Do it faster. Let's do it against the wall. That did not 
That was not the wall. Oh, it worked. Uh, what have we got here? Sure. I don't mind. I think it's minus. I don't know if they add or multiply. I mean, they are percentages. So yeah, I guess now I've got like minus 19%. Is that how that works? Oh, don't let me do mathematics on camera. It's difficult. 10% from one and then 10% of the next 90% is 9%, right? So. Let me roll! This is what... Oh, this makes me so angry. I just wanted to roll through that dude because I was in the wrong place. Flipping well wouldn't let me. So why? You don't have to trap me as well as beating me up. I'm already down, you know. Kick a man when he's down. It's just not sporting. You know, it's just not cricket. Get up here. There we go. Should we go up there? Whatever, let's leave and stop being so ornery about a simple computer game. It's actually quite complicated. I mean, I mean it's simple, but difficult. We've had we've had this discussion. There's easier than the simple. Mm. A quick swig of ever warming kefir. We've had the discussion about kefir, right? Sixty. I've got sixty. Um, I will unlock this, just to see if it'll get me further through the game at some point. As I unlock it, I, I know that I wasn't about to unlock it. Also, I should probably upgrade my stuff. I have a lot of money. Um, sure. I always go with these three, and I, it's because I like it. <laughs> Cannot be sold. I haven't replaced this yet. Sure. Fighters. Uh... Yeah, actually, that's pretty good. Toxic Cloud. We don't have anything that bleeds or poisons right now. Except this, which I don't really use. So let's... Yes. I want one that applies the effect rather than uh, works off the effect. Oh, I'm still not very good at this game, even though I've got several episodes in it. She has a few hours. I should be okay at it by now. Am I okay at it? Does this count as okay at it? The other thing is, this um, vampirism, for each hit you land on an enemy for 10 seconds, which means... If I want to use this, I'm going to have to use it at a very appropriate juncture, because you're noticing how I don't really have uh, a build ready for this Joker, because it has to be up against the wall. When you stay pointing in the direction I expected you to point in, I rolled, and you just stop rolling at the point... It's, it's, I mean, we've had this discussion, right? Not close enough. You need to stop not letting me roll past an enemy that's about to hit me. I mean, we can get some hits in pretty quickly, but it's not satisfying. I don't really feel like we're getting anywhere. Right, I managed to at least roll out of the way that time. Is that game, do you think? Oh, right, yeah, that. We're on phase two now. So, basically, I have to keep rolling if I think it's going to get me up to the point when it actually gets me and then I'm probably okay. Do all grenades return... Um... Ow. Ow. I, I, I literally can't do anything. Fine. That's how it's got to be. That's how it's got to be. See, I think this is what James was saying when he was... Uh, doing when we were having that podcast when there was no one around to listen to it um, and not recording it. Uh, I don't have a run that can beat this guy. It's just a tedious, you know, try to not get hit. It's a war of attrition, you know, and now I'm going to get hosed by this loser. It's not doing the jump. You're not even doing what you're supposed to do. I think is rude. If you don't very much mind me saying so. So then you do that. Then you do the ground pound thingy. And then you jump. Why are you not jumping? <laughs> I 
So I just have to sort of keep out of its way and then do a minor amount of damage and then keep out of its way. The amount of HP this boss has is too much for the amount of stuff that I have to fight it with. With which to fight it, fine. And I can't get it up against the wall particularly well, unless it does that jump. Get out of the way. So I had to get through that before I did it, but it happened too quickly. I didn't have the opportunity to. And that wasn't up against the wall enough, <laughs> apparently. So what's the boy to do? I mean, I can... It's probably a little bit disingenuous to say I don't have a run that can beat this. I have a run that can beat it if I'm prepared to wait the amount of time it will take me to get through this fight. You know, and you know, tank the damage and wait. Oh god help. And get stuck in a corner so that there's no option for me to fix it. Carl was saying that the way to beat this thing is just to cheese it, right? With uh, traps, which we have done before. You know, ice grenades and stuff. I don't have one. But you shouldn't have to prepare, ooh, help, for the um, for the boss fight by buying things that will make the boss fight work, and then hoping that on the next shot there's another thing that will make the boss fight work. And I, I'm still failing because this thing has so much HP, and I nearly screwed that one up royally. Then we do this, and then you're going to do that, and then we're going to do that, and I'm going to get out of the way. So I have to just sort of... It's all attacks of opportunity at this point. That wasn't close enough to the wall, so it didn't count. So the patterns are okay. I can get through the patterns, but then I have to get close, shoot it, run away. I note that I can run through that... I can roll through that red thing if the red thing is around it when it jumps at me. But only then. Ow. Now I can't hit it at all. I'm gonna die. Because <laughs> I, I... I can hit it once in a while, which is not enough. I have to hit it regularly. The early part of this fight, I was just beating the crap out of it, you know? Which I guess is like, the progression. I shouldn't be surprised, it's how this fight works. It just gets more and more frantic, but now I've got no ammo, so I have to wait for it to fall out. There's one. Which is... <laughs> all my ammo, the only thing that is doing any damage to this thing. That was not correct! I am 100% behind the complaints where you really have to have a run that is capable of beating this enemy. I was like, why? <laughs> just let me beat it. You know? Just l let the patterns be conducive to all of the things I have. Like, I can't keep stabbing it with this thing that does a minor amount of damage from the melee range of the enemy. I have to have more range than it to be able to hit it. I've only got four shots for the long range stuff. Oh, enough complaining. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will enjoy me in the next episode if I am a little bit less grumpy and actually want to do one. But I hope you're enjoying this and I hope you're enjoying the Cataclysm series that is uh, currently in progress and until the next time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you. Bye. Press stop.